I think the secret to understanding money is to understand that there's a relationship between money and things. And um, if your relationship between, like, okay, so cryptocurrency has a relationship to different types of money, right? Like different currencies. But some cryptocurrencies also have a, re a price that's relative to the cryptocurrency that doesn't change. Like um, the price of drugs or something like that. Or the price of diamonds or the price of gold. Um, so everything has a relative price. And so if you can trade your cryptocurrency for gold, then you, you have a pretty good cryptocurrency. Um, but um, a lot of the time, the best type of currency is something that's liquid. Um, something that you can trade all the time. And I learned that because I went to the Rainbow Gathering, and at the Rainbow Gathering, um, they have Trade Circle, and you have to think about what you want to trade. And what everyone trades basically is marijuana, um, drugs, um, crystals, um, like batteries, flashlights, um, services. Um, but a lot of the time it's it's drugs because that's what everyone wants because it's it's a lot harder to trade something like a crystal when you don't know if everyone's going to – like if, if the person that has what you want is going to have what you – okay. You don't know if they're going to want your crystal so it's a lot easier if you're going to trade in pot because everyone wants pot. Um, so um, cryptocurrency similarly has a relationship to things and there are two cryptocurrencies in my opinion that have – more relationship than others, Bitcoin and Monero. But um, I might be wrong because there might be another one. But most of them, their relationship is to um, demand. And so, um, like, if a, if, a, if a cryptocurrency is trending, then that's good for the cryptocurrency because someone might want to buy it because they think that's going to incre increase demand. But at some point, they're hollowing out the currency every time they make a profit and if anyone who moves out um, leaves, uh, uh, leaves that currency more hollowed out. Um, so I, I don't know exactly what the whole point of this, this discussion is, but what I, I'm trying to say is I do understand money and um, I understand that a, a lot of people want to have cryptocurrencies now because um, they want to encourage people to, it's kind of like you want to encourage people to, to buy T-bills during World War II. You want people to give money to the government, right? Or at least the, that's what the United States government wanted because they needed to raise money from the people. And so I know it's kind of hard to understand the United States government raising money from the people, but they did. And um, so when, when, when a country wants to have their central bank do a cryptocurrency, which means that they're going to have a problem with liquidity eventually, I think, maybe, I don't know, I don't know, I need, I need real experts to help me, um, then that's a problem. All right, so what I actually was here to t talk about today is, um, I was going to talk about what I said about, like, black people, I won't mess with you. Um, that means, like, I would encourage the police not to mess with you, um, because obviously I'm, I, I, I think you should be like treated like I'm treated where, where like the cops leave me alone. But I mean, if they do pull me over, then I just give them my license and I get a ticket. That's life. But, um, I also am obviously for cops not being in high speed chases as much. And that's why I'm for cops driving, um, Teslas and cars like that. Um, because I think for the most part you should be sitting and, um, you shouldn't be harassing people for the most part. Um, but that doesn't mean that you shouldn't come when you when you're called and and even in, in a lot of our circumstances maybe you should answer a call by phone if possible. This is 911. okay, can we switch to FaceTime? Sure. All right, can, tell me what's going on. I mean it, it's not that hard to have cops using FaceTime. And so I, I understand that there's like something about a, a secure line, but um, it also provides more evidence and, um, it also might allow for cops to not have to drive out unless there's like a real reason to drive out. Um, and so like I, I'm talking about minimizing, um, consumption in a, a lot because we might, we're going to minimize crime and everyone's going, okay, well, if you let all these people out of prison, people are going to shoot each other. 
And I agree with you on that because that's what New York City is saying. They're saying we're having way more shootings because these people got out of prison. But um, who's, whose fault is that? That's the system's fault. And if you want to correct the system, you're going to have to have some, some bumps in the system while you're, while you're kind of cleaning it up. So we got all we got all these problems in the system because there are all these people that are so institutionalized in prison and their minds all messed up and they have this whole respect don't disrespect me what what bitch you want to fucking talk, just look at me like this guy in Vegas that talked to me like that and I'm like I, I have a gun and I want to kill you like right now I can't believe you just talked to me like that and it's just a lot easier not having those people in our society and that guy probably had just got out of jail because I was right next to the jail. And uh, all, what I'm what I'm saying is like um, those people exist, but a lot of the reason that they're that way is because they're from prison, and prison has a culture. And until we um, drastically reduce that culture, then um, I mean I, I think that it, sh it should be a big deal when you when you when you break the law. Like I think that like if you're someone that belongs in prison, like you should really belong in prison. And so uh, I, I think you should be very punished, just like. Um, this guy's trying to come onto a military base with body armor and a bunch of assault rifles and a bunch of magazines. Um, yeah, that's that's pretty much death in my book. Um, but it, it's definitely uh, very long in prison, if not life. Um, but that's that that's like like I I think that um, prison should be shouldn't be assumed. Like it shouldn't be assumed that you're going to go to prison, especially like oh you're black. It's assumed you're going you're going to go to prison at some point. Like, I think it should be assumed that you're not going to go to prison and that if you do go to prison that it's a big deal but the problem is we're very harsh on crime but then we encourage crime I mean it's like it's like all these guys that are like in charge in the, in the Afghanistan war going around talking about opiates with the people in New Hampshire like oh yeah well, I spent money to fight the opiates yeah yeah I'm totally against the opiates yeah, yeah F the opiates we all hate the opiates there's nothing shittier than the opiates no one, no one likes the opiates. All right. Um, no one likes anything, but um, I think I think the, the the message to black people is, yeah, I'm gonna leave you alone, but that doesn't mean that I'm gonna actually leave you alone, because um, I we might put governors on people's cars, like, like we might max out your speed at 55 miles per hour. Okay, that uh, that's where I will not vote for you. Well, then at least you don't have to worry about trying not to speed, but then the cops aren't gonna be funded. The cops aren't going to have to call my house asking me for, for money. Because they do. The cops call you for asking me for money and you're like, Oh, yeah. I feel like I'm getting extorted. <laughs> like, But I'm not. <laughs> but I don't have any money. Um, but like, should the cops have to raise money? I mean, that's the problem is... Um, like, It's kind of like, we need to make sure that we have flaws in our cybersecurity. And that's why uh, Barr wants to make sure that we want to we end encryption. I mean, that's what he's trying to do, um, which is, is like awful for security. Um, and so like encryption is very good for security because think about it. If you can't see the traffic, how can you know what's, what it's doing? And if you want to understand what it's doing, then I mean, like understanding what it's doing is a, like a lot of, like, I'm not going to talk. I, I don't want to explain it. <laughs> so I'm not going to do a very good job at it. But what I'm saying is, um, I am, I'm down to have the store tell me I'm not allowed to use plastic bags. I want people to tell me not to do certain, certain things. I want my store not to sell me beef if I, if I shouldn't be eating beef during certain seasons. Or I want the store to tell me that I shouldn't eat certain things. I mean, I, I'm okay with the store saying I don't ha I'm not going to stock this at all. Um, that, that's fine with me because um, I, I think that it's hard to be a good person. It's a lot easier to be a good person if, if the store tells you how to be a good person. But it's similarly, I think the law can tell you how to be a good person. Like if the law says you have to have a governor on your car, then why not? But I, I realize people will be like, yeah, I'm not getting a governor on mine. Then be real careful because you're going to have to, um, go to go to court and prove that you got your governor put on it. Seriously. And, and then, so just don't get pulled over, really. Uh, set your cruise control, but I, I'm I'm just saying like that would save us so much oil. But then that's offensive because like that is messing with people. And so when I say to tell black tell black people, black people I'm not going to mess with you, that means like I'm I'm not gonna I, like, I'm going to treat. I think you should be treated like a white person, or I think all like or like an Asian person or like an Indian person, which is for the most part you're going to get left alone. Like because I, I think like the government should leave you alone, but 
Um, I also think that the government needs to stop leaving everyone alone in the energy department. Um, the government needs to get in everyone's business so that we can reduce consumption or else we're all, we're, we're like our, 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 our descendants are all doomed.